Good morning. This is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel. And today I'm going to show you a healthier way to um, bread your meats instead of using all-purpose flour or whole wheat flour. What I'm doing is I've got eight slices of Nature's Own whole grain, 100% whole grain bread um, and I'm going to cut this up into pieces and it's going to fall apart <laughs> and that's okay and I'm using the heel and the sides and everything because it doesn't bother me and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these pieces and I'm going to put it in my food processor. And I'm just cutting them up into smaller pieces so the food processor will get it good. All right. Get all these crumbs in here, too. All right, let me set this over here. So, like I said, this is 100% whole grain, not whole wheat, but whole grain bread. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pull this a few times and get it. All right, now I'm going to let it go. You want to get these into fine breadcrumbs. Alright, now what I'm going to do is, I've got my oven set on broil only because my baking element went out. And so, I'm going to put these, I've got a pan lined with my... Um, non-stick aluminum foil and I'm going to take these out and I'm going to put them on my pan let me make sure y'all can see this alright I'm going to put these on my pan and you can see these are real fine. Real fine. And I'm going to put these on the lowest shelf in my oven because I've got it on broil because my bacon element went out. And I'm going to watch these and I'm going to turn them over. And I want these to get crispy because... As long as you don't use a lot of these, if you just go sparingly on your coating for your chicken or whatever you want, it's going to be an okay breading, and it's going to be a whole lot. You don't have to, um, I mean, if you want to dip it in the egg and then dip it in this, that that's fine, but don't be double dipping. I mean, don't get out a whole big um, bowl of and put a whole lot of breadcrumbs in there. Just dip your your meat in your egg and then in your breadcrumbs lightly and then put them in your pan. And you can bake these, you can broil them, you can grill them, um, whatever you want to do. But I'm like I said, I'm gonna put this in the in my oven now. I've got it on broil, it's on my lowest rack, and I'll bring you back in a minute and show you what else I'm going to do. Okay, I'm back. Alright, I left these in the oven and they started browning real quick. So I was constantly turning them over. And I've turned the oven off 
and um, I'm going to, I just wanted you to see them. I'm going to put them back in my oven while it's still warm and let them dry up some. And I'll bring you back in just in a little while. Okay, I'm back. And I have let these cool off. They're cooled off now. And you can see they're um, pretty crispy. And I wanted to tell you, if you wanted to have seasoned breadcrumbs you could put your italian spices in here um you could put oregano in here you could put whatever you want to in here for um coating and this is this is a good homemade way for you to um get your breadcrumbs and for a diabetic to use whole grain flour is good and what I'm going to do now it's cooled off and I've got some little um, sam well it's not sandwich bags these are quart freezer bags and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some in here for tonight and I don't really like seasoned breadcrumbs that much. Um, also, another thing you can do with this is you can put cornmeal in here corn, with your um, your whole grain breadcrumbs. Cornmeal is a good thing, too, that you can use. And cornmeal does make things crunchy. I, I like fish with cornmeal. Now, my, the thing I like the most would be fried fish, but... According to what they say, you can use canola oil. Canola oil has a um, omega-3 fatty acids in there that are good for you. And we all know that um, olive oil is good for you. So what I'm going to do is I've got a, enough out for tonight for the chicken. And what I'm going to do with the rest of this is I'm just going to pop this in these freezer bags and I'm going to put this in my freezer for um, when I need some more and then I'll just get ever how much out that I want and I'll put them on a paper plate or some aluminum foil or some um, Reynolds wrap or whatever I want to put, that on, put them on and let them dry out again and then I'll use them for the breadcrumbs for whatever I want to cook. I'm Like I said, I'm going to do a recipe of chicken cooking um, chicken on my New Wave oven um, tonight since I don't have um, <laughs> my real oven to use. And so I'm going to do that, but I'm going to go on and finish getting the rest of these breadcrumbs in the bag. And then I'm going to put these in the freezer and these I'll use for tonight. And I'll probably put some cornmeal because I love cornmeal. I do. I love cornmeal. And just using a little bit of cornmeal in with this is not going to be so bad. But I'll bring you back. Um, I mean, I'll have another movie a video for you on the making the chicken but if you like this recipe give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and you have a wonderful day and i'll talk to you later bye